Ah, oh, man. The Biofrost already has level 5 weapon, which makes him level Batman. And that also makes me level Robin. I don't want to be Robin. Not even Robins want to be Robin. Think about that for a while. We have a tie between Neo Super Spyro and Inkila Kasha. Also, there's a few votes for Demon Reader as well, but that's a zombie horror. They don't count. They're mindless. So we have to choose between one of these two guys. Well, actually, we don't need to choose, because I'm choosing for you. And Kila Kasha, I kind of forgot to put him in the first lineup of voting, so we owe him a favor. He is going to be going to... Star Hill! We're on rails at this point. Actually, we just don't want Neo Super Spyro to go and blow up that new moon we just made. It's excellent, the moon comes at noon now. Ah, I already have level 3 notes! He gave up singing, he shoots automatones now. They're a lot heavier, they're kind of like a blunt object, and they make wah-wah sounds. So, he's okay with that. Soon, we'll have level 4. Even he will be able to make auto-tuner sound good. Is that a thing? I keep on hearing that auto-tuner is some kind of faux pas in the singing world. Is that true? I don't understand my singing, but hey, check it out. Level 4 note. This is what happens when you sing really well. This is like, um, that diva from the fifth element. He has two voices. I wonder what will happen when he gets to level 5 power. It's possible. All he needs is three more notes. No more Princess Rua there, either. And this is a jumping section with a character that has difficulty jumping. And what the heck is that over there? That's not an Aztec, Einstein! That upsets- Oh no. I'm- I'm not pleased. Aztec Einstein's territory has been taken over by Sky Whale! And all of his cousins! And they're all pink! You followed me, even into this game. It looks like all of my Let's Plays are starting to follow me. We hit the Stalfos Pirates, and now we got Sky Whale. What's next? I don't remember a game where I played Flying Eclairs, so... I think we're safe from that, at least. And... I don't think we could destroy the Flying Eclairs. No, we cannot. That, that's a good thing. I need more voices. More voices! I need to destroy the elephants with the voice. The warding way. There we go. Level 5. Musical note. And this is a really short area. I got really lucky with these power-ups. Look it. It's a practical orchestra of automatones now. Ridiculous! He can destroy stars before they even land on the ground, except for, you know, the huge ones. I love this weapon. It is a big wall of destruction. What, that's it? Well, that was a ridiculously short level. And what are you doing here? I thought you exploded in a disastrous baseball incident. Well, he knows all about Princess Rua. That's actually a hologram of the moon. He left it there as a recording. You know I wish who was in a recording? You. You keep repeating the same thing over and over again. I wonder where Princess Rua and Kokorone is gone. Yeah. I hate you, Kokorone. Oh, that was a really, really short level. You know what? It's a tie. We're going for a double header. We're taking Neo Super Spyro to the Milk Sea. Maybe we could get lucky and have two level 5 weapons this day. And his weapon is already good enough to destroy stars, although it's lonesome. Look at that. We need more of these. We need more star destroying power. Not enough star destroying power. We need more. We need all the power. Neo Super Spyro demands it. There's so many more moons to explode. And he wants to do it. He wants to be involved. Alright. I gotta be a little bit more careful, or I'm gonna get absolutely murdered by everything. Absolutely everything. Unless I pick up this, then I won't be murdered at all. I can murder right back. Man, we're getting lots of these hero powers. They seem pretty common as heroes. This is an area of Star Hill we did not go to, because we have to travel from the Milk Sea, or to the Milk Sea. But this is actually an interesting area. Fill the trains! Welcome to the train level. They have those now. Oh, hey! One up! We're gonna need a lot more of those. 
Sadly, I cannot make the jump up there. But I could stop the train from going on time. So I could use it as a platform. Also, was there a penguin on that train? I need another train. There is a penguin on it! This is the horrifying penguin trains of the Star Hill. Do not trust them. Actually, that smoke that they spew out when they whistle can actually hurt you, so don't linger on them for too long. Just gather as many power-ups as you can. Actually, this place is really, really good for getting one-ups. And power-ups if you need them. And I do need them. I don't even have level 3 ball yet. But we do have level 10 lives! Way to go, Neo Super Spiral. You're good for something, at least. I hereby grant you a new title. You've been upgraded from Destroyer of the Moon to Getter of Many Lives. You can't even reach that egg! Well, at least you know Princess Rue ain't in there. Yeah, the reason why I didn't want to take Demon Reader is he already has level 3 Shuriken, which already makes him quite powerful. And he's busy reading one of his favorite books. A few of his favorite books. Like How the Grinch Woke Cthulhu, and The Cat and the Shogoth, and Green Eggs and Ham and the Mini Maws of Azathoth. He has some weird reading habits. Or maybe normal ones, being a demon. We have level 3 Ball. This is actually a really good hitting radius. You would not believe how good that is. That entire ball is a hitbox. Just a rolling boulder of destruction. And we're gonna use it against Mondomo. Yeah, why not? This is the house level I was talking about. If you pass by house from this direction, you get this screen. Which just has a bunch of kids' drawings of houses and trees. It's like it's my deepest desires. Like having level 4 ball. Take that. You see, Mondo Mole is throwing baseballs at me too. He's a little bit bitter because I have the Wii U Earthbound now, and I absolutely destroyed him. Why? Because I needed revenge. I am still upset about that moment. In fact, sometimes I go watch, re-watch that video just so I could get angry at Mondo Mole. I have excuses. All right, come on down here. Come on down here. Welcome to the Ball of Die, where I just shoot balls at you for all eternity. That sounded bad, but we have 11 lives now. This is why I like the ball weapon. It goes up slopes. At least Boomerang and Shirking, I think, goes through things, but the ball follows the contours of it, so it's good for hitting things that are above you. And this is boat power. You could float on the milk. Of course, that's how boats work. But it makes it a little difficult for grabbing power-ups, because you have to stand right on top of the thing that you're hitting. And you have to hit enemies on the surface of the water, or otherwise you're out of luck. I need more ball. I need two more ball. Give me two more ball. Oh, this is getting terrible. I'm just gonna stop talking about balls now. Oh, hey, I got another ball. I'm not gonna stop talking about balls. Look how many balls there are. I can't stop talking about them now. Well, we're not going to be able to get that penguin now. That penguin lives to tell the tale. I'm just going to talk to the Stalfos pirates now. They're better than you. Yeah, I see that the Biofrost totaled your ship pretty good. Didn't you just say Princess Rua was with the, the fairies? Oh well. At least I get to play the music again. Ha <laughs> ha! Loser. Speaking of loser, I summoned him. Prepare for epilepsy. Isn't that delightful? Isn't it just great that we only have, like, one more video of him epilepsying us? Because next we're going for Princess Rua. So next time, we'll find out what happens next. Is it just an ending? We'll see. Oh, and I have been meaning to say this for a while now. If anybody wants to make, like, fan art of the team, or anybody on the team, or anything Kokorin related, or even just to show off your own teams you made if you're playing along, I'm open to that. I have the contact information, you can get it to me. Maybe I'll include it in the video somewhere. You never know. Good night, folks.